Hello guys, my name is Lucas and in the last lesson we fixed some dragon problems we were having with our items and also we give the ability to swap items like this to our inventory so yeah I've been working up to pretty late you can see the time down there and if you didn't trust me now I'm uh, uploading the video for you guys so it's, it's almost done and I'm working on this one now so wish me luck first of all in today's lesson we are going to make two buttons uh, one for equipment and one for usable items and one more button for all items so we will kind of sort the items in our inventory by type so let's get started so first of all we're going to create those three buttons with our unity canvas so we go to UI here and make a button and the button is going to be placed automatically inside the canvas so I'm going to drag this here I'm going to scale it a bit to maybe 120 that's pretty good and inside here we have a text I'm going to change this to all so as you see we can make this even a little bit smaller maybe 100 so we have all and we're going to call this BTN standing for button all and we want to duplicate this button two times so the second button we're going to call BTN dot equip and the third button we're going to call it btn dot usables okay so we're going to drag those to the side like this and we're going to change the text inside them so this one is equipment and this one is usables so with these buttons we're going to call the functions we're going to create now. So here in our inventory controller we have the start function and this start function actually creates our inventory. So we want to copy all of this inside here uh, from here to here. We want to copy all of this and we will paste it um, right here in the bottom right before our class finishes I mean our C sharp class and we're going to create a function for this so we're going to call it void create inventory yes so we have the create inventory function and therefore we don't need to call this here but we're just going to call the function create inventory at the start so the next thing we have to do is create sorting functions in our game db script so to do this we need to have two lists from now on one list will hold all of the items we create and that is going to be made here just like now so this one will be will change the name of this to all items so just let's replace that and we're going to create another list called sort items so it's the items after we filter them by type or actually we can sort them by anything else so we're going to duplicate this this one is going to call sorted items and it's also a new list so for each item that we create all of these are item creations for each item we create we must add it to the old items but for the sorted items we're going to create a new function and we're going to call this function sort items and we're going to give it a string parameter and we're going to call this type um, so here by type yeah, so the function is going to be called void sort items by type and we're going to give a string parameter which is called type 
and we are going to do it like this for each so for each item i in all items if i dot type equals type then sorted items dot add i so very simple what we're doing here is that we're going to check each item in all items list and if that particular item type is equals to the type we put as a parameter in the function we are going to add that item into the sorted items list and of course we need to change this in the create inventory function we're not going not we're not longer calling it item list but sorted items sorted items so yeah we we're using two lists in here now but we need one more function and that is sort sort all items and this function has no parameters because what this does is we just want to add all the items into the sorted list so when we show the items here from the sorted items we're going to show every item so we just copy this here but we do not need this and before we continue one last thing we have to do is clear the sorted item list so I'm going to type sorted items dot clear and what it, this is doing is removing all the items from the sorted items so then we can add them again and we will not have repetitions so we do the same here so we do the same here every time we sort items by type we have to clear the sorted items list and one more thing is that the end of this awake function so at, after we finish adding all the items we're going to sort all items just so we have a sorted item list with items inside that our inventory controller can access on this start function otherwise it will be empty and it will create nothing so we are here we created these functions and I forgot that we have to make them public because we want to call these functions from the buttons we created at the beginning so if we go back here and we have a error let me so we had that error because our parameter is a string data type however the type of the item is an enumerator that we created so we have to convert this enumerator to a to string so now we can compare these two values and the error should be gone yes I love when errors are gone <laughs> okay so as I was saying uh, we made these two uh, public functions we because we want to call those functions from these buttons we just created and so it's very simple we just select this in the hierarchy button all um, if you see here we have down here we have on click function and we're going to add a function to this and we're going to drag the background because the background is holding the game DB script so we're going to drag the background into this area here and we're going to select a function from game db sort all items next we're going to do the same for button equip and button usables so I'm just going to do this fast I'm going to add a function add drag the background here select a function but this time I'm going to select sort items by type and here I can type the parameter I want to get inside the function so I'm going to type equip and if I'm not wrong 
that's the type for equipment yeah equip and consumable for usables so we should change that name instead of usables but yeah just let's do that later uh, I'm going to drag the background again select the function game to be sort items by type and I'm going to type consumable that's our type so I'm going to uh, stop this so if we play it now nothing will happen and that's because although we're sorting we're sorting the sorted items list here we just create the inventory once and that's it on start so we want to make this create inventory a public function so now we can call that from here after we sort the items we also need to call that function and that function is in inventory and we select from inventory controller the create inventory function and we do the same for three of our buttons at drag the inventory inventory controller create inventory and usables the same at a function inventory inventory controller and create inventory let's save this and let's try it see how it worked and okay something happened it's not done yet but we see that we just place all the equipment items at the beginning but we forgot to delete the slots I mean the items that were in the inventory before that so if we keep pressing we will probably have a lot of items so here in create inventory we need to add something new before that so we're going to take all the tiles from the inventory so we're going to use a for each loop and for each transform this time t in this transform so we're saying for each transform inside the inventory transform we are going to destroy each slot so we just use the destroy function and what we want to destroy is the game object of t so we type t dot game object and let's try this one more time my friends because I wanted to go to sleep now you can see the time there in my clock I'm really sleepy and okay we try this first and then equipment yes usables yes equipment yes oh yes so that's my friends how we sort our inventory that's how we do it I hope you enjoyed the video sorry if I'm a little bit high because I'm really sleepy but anyway I really enjoyed doing these videos for you guys uh, so thank you for all of you who comment on it and if you like this as usually like it share it with your friends and I will see you all on the next lesson thank you very much good night I'm leaving to bed